The last time I cried, I cried quite a bit. I'll be honest, I, I'm, I'm emotional, I, you know, and that's always been me. The last time I cried was probably when I was on the way back from WA after Christmas. I was flying back and I knew I wasn't going to see my family for ages. And instead of just bottling it up and trying to be a gangster, you know, I was like, I'm going to cry now because I know I'm heading back. I know they're going to be here when I come back. Josh, you're really provoked now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind the photos. I don't get much of them. I think it's hard just to know the difference between being powerful and being someone that your family and your friends can look up to and feel safe around compared to being dominant. You know, and saying, I'm a man, I can do this, I have to do this, and I don't cry. And as men, we don't give each other the respect that we need to when it comes to nurturing each other. You know, and I think that's why this is so important to me, because it, it hit home, it, it's close to my heart, and to be able to work with a bunch of men from all walks of life that just want to see better for other men is something very beautiful. All right, here we go, shooting. I've been guilty of a fake smile, yeah, I'm feeling fine. Life of the party, but inside I don't feel alive. Telling all of my closest that it's all good. I'ma be a ride, cause they let them know I'm a broken soul. That honestly is my kryptonite, but my ego, he evil. Manipulate me with lies, like real men are unbreakable. And real men don't cry, but real men get help. And real men do cry. I wish I had that combo with my brothers in the sky. R.I.P. This video is important for me just because, you know, I'm sick of going to funerals. I'm from the Kimberley, and the suicide rate there is amongst the highest in the world, you know, and that, that's just something that it's become normal now. And I think that, that's like the worst feeling ever to have that sort of, you know, feeling around the community as a normal thing, you know, another person's taken their life. And I've lost a lot of, a lot of brothers, and a lot, of, a lot of really close friends to the fact that they think that asking for help was too, too much of a burden. And I think it's something we've done wrong for a long time when the going gets tough. We suppress, we bottle up, we pop bottles, we, you know, we find all these escapes that really are just another trap door, you know, and it's not gonna change overnight, but if we start making the right steps now and really start trying to push the message out there it's just one of them things where we got to normalise men crying, men asking for help. Normalise it to the point where it's a part of just your everyday routine, you know? And to all my brothers out there, to all the men out there, to all the young fellas out there, you know, boys do cry, and that's why I did this song.